everyone. I'm sorry. It's been a hello, everyone. I'm sorry, Lighty Love. Uh, I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I posted a video uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can all uh, you can I do I post a lot of videos on my Facebook page, Chemistry.com. If you're uh, I do a lot of tour tutorials because I'm in a lot of groups there. So I do a lot of tutorials on candle work, uh, honey jars, uh, sugar jars, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just not sure if you guys want to see that on my YouTube channel. I do more uh, book reviews and, and, and other informational knowledge there. I don't do to a lot of tutorials here. But if y'all would like to see more tutorials on doing more spiritual work, I will post that in this, uh, on my YouTube channel. But I just do a lot of reference, uh, you know, reference stuff on here. Uh, a lot of book reviews, a lot of, uh, of informative information. That's, that's usually what I do here on my YouTube channels. Uh, but today, I, I thought I would do a book review on a book I just read. It's called Ritual. Uh, Ritual. Uh, power healing and community the greatest and most detailed book about ritual that I have read by Robert Bly and the author is Maladoma Patrice Samay Samay Sama. I hope I'm pronouncing it right but I'll put uh I'll put the uh the title of the book and and, and the author of the book after I you know finish this video I post it up there so you you can always go back and review it uh, I, this is a very good book because this man talks about his ritual experience uh, with his tribe, uh, the way he grew up. And uh, I love to see diversity when it comes to ritual. Uh, I know at Ifa, they have their own tradition on how they do ritual. Uh, and to me, traditions, when you see tradition, uh, so to speak, that is the religion of those, you know, of those people or whatever. You know, that's, that's, that's their religion. Tradition is just uh, another word for religion because religion uh, was created out of traditions, okay? And so Ifa is more of a tradition and uh, more of a religion. But anyone can talk to the Orishas. The Orishas are a part of nature and a part of us. So, and that's, that's and, 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 and that goes as for the angelic beings as well. What I liked about this book is he showed diversity in ritual uh, when it comes to uh, following the ways of your ancestors. Uh, this book was very inspiring to me. It gave me hope because of the diversity of ritual. And that's important. If you if you got your ancestors altar up, and if you've been communing with your ancestors, putting food on their altar, and speaking with them, and, and, and putting a liquor on their altar, then, uh, you know, you begin your journey to ancestral reverence, which is the foundation of African spirituality, okay? Uh, I've learned some rituals that I do to connect myself with my ancestors, uh, and, and, and you can pass these rituals on to keep your connection and your, um, your communion with your ancestors. Uh, I like that the whole community participated in their rituals. They had a ritual for uh, mourning with someone dead. There was, there was a really elaborate ritual that they do to connect with the dead ones and make sure that they uh, pass over to the realm of the ancestors. That was very important. So uh, this book really gave, it gives you hope of you, it gives you hope and it gives you faith in uh, establishing your uh, your relationship with your ancestors and creating a space of ritual to help you and your family stay connected to your ancestors. A uh, ritual can be something as small as going to the river, uh, giving offerings on the river. The river is also a symbology, not just of the Orishas, uh, uh, Oshun, or uh, Yimaya, or Oya, it not only represents them, but it, it, it also represents the ancestral bloodline, the DNA, the water in our veins, uh, the blood. Blood is a, 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 it's nothing but water with DNA, DNA properties in it. So, uh, and, and then our ancestors were people that, that lived by the river, that lived by the water. 
uh, many ab Aboriginal people set up homes, uh, Indigenous people set up homes around the river, around the lake, because that, that was a part of their everyday lives. You see that in Egypt, when a lot of our ancestors uh, live by the Nile. Um, so, uh, and you see that in Mesopotamian uh, history as well. So, uh, we were a people of nature. Get back into nature. You want to connect with your ancestors. You want to get back in contact with nature because nature is one of our oldest ancestors okay it is responsible for uh our our makeup of who we are we are the fifth element you are that remember that movie the fifth element we are the fifth element and the sixth weight ray star which is you know the uh, elemental makeup of our ancestors and the the melanated beings as well so you want to connect back with nature. You want to start getting your connected back con connection back with nature. Uh, you, there's also a ritual you can do and just pour honey onto the earth and say a prayer uh, to Mama Earth. Um, you know, go outside and meditate. You know, sit under a tree. Uh, I also do a little small ritual where I get a box. Any type of box of, will float on water. And I put flowers or potpourri mixes in there and incense and, and sometimes some fruits. And I light a candle and, and send it on the river and send it on the lake. Uh, I'll do that as well for a ritual to Oshun or just to the ancestors. Just thanking the ancestors for, uh, for my life. You know, thanking nature all around me for its beauty and, and making me in its image. So uh, you just want to reconnect with, with nature and, uh, you know, call on those ancestors as, as well. You know, so you can create rituals that you and your family can recognize. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, you know, more tutorials on doing candle work or, you know, that type of spiritual work or uh, honey jars, sugar jars, you know, Follow me on Facebook. I give a lot of tutorials there. If you're interested in more, me doing more tutorials on doing spiritual work, uh, you know, let me know and I'll put more uh, tutorials on my YouTube page so you guys can follow me uh, here as well. But uh, I just really do book reviews and stuff on my YouTube channel, uh, dropping you information so you can form your own rituals and... Um, honor your own ancestors you know so we all need more information and in connecting back to our true self which is the ways of the ancestors because we are our ancestors uh, like i say this is a really good book uh he talks just a lot about his experiences with ritual and his ancestors and the way they had things and they had their own customs and like i said this book i love a book uh that promotes the diversity of ritual among aboriginal indigenous people because uh, a lot of us don't have the same uh you know do the same rituals according on uh the people where we're from or whatever you know where our ancestors was located where they're isolated away from other people uh but we all have the same common practice and that is honoring ancestors and so that was glad to see uh that in this book you know, the diversity of spiritual spirituality, uh, the common thread of spirituality when it comes to our ancestors and our spiritual knowledge and working. So this is a very good book. Uh, you know, check it out. You know, it was very inspirational to me. I have a, a couple of more uh, books coming in that I'm going to be looking at. And I'll probably give a book review here as well. But like I said, I'll leave the name of this book. This is the author here, Maladoma Patrice Somme. You know, and this book is called Ritual. Uh, it's not a how-to book. He's not telling you a lot how they do their rituals. He's just sharing his experiences and some of the details of uh, the rituals he was brought up in and his spiritual experiences. So it's very inspirational. It's inspirational 
when it comes to inspiring you to uh, keep honoring your ancestors and, and creating a ritual. Uh, and what I liked about it too is the whole community participated in the ritual which made, you know, which made, you know, their spiritual practice, you know, even stronger and more potent. So uh, it, it, it wasn't just at home they did this. They practiced as a community as well. So uh, this is a really good book. It was very inspiring. Uh, you know, so like I said, I don't do tutorials here. Uh, but I wanted to also give a shout out. I'm Mark. I do full moon meditations uh, every month, but I'm also going to start doing an African metaphysics study group uh, so we can talk a little bit more in detail about metaphysics and how um, how this spirit how, how spirit is such a gift in our life and how we can work more intimately uh, with our ancestors and with the universe. So uh, I'm going to be having this uh, African metaphysics study group that talks about that. And metaphysics is just, it just about training your mind to uh, commune with spirit more or to enjoy more spiritual experiences. Okay, so, uh, you know, that's going to be on the third Sunday of every month. I'm here in Arkansas. It's going to be in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, for those of you that's local here, and if you're interested in, in, in studying more about African metaphysics and learning more about ritual, and you're trying to transition out of, of the doctrine of religion, and you're trying to become more spiritual and under ancestors, please come out and join us at our full moon meditation. Uh, our African metaphysics study group that's going to be on the 3rd of Every, a third Sunday of every month. Uh, it's going to be next month on March 19th at 12 p.m. in North Little Rock. Uh, you can keep up. Uh, you can keep up with me, or where we're going to be on Facebook because I'm usually post posting uh, any events I have or any, anything like that. I always post post it at Facebook. You can friend me there. My name is uh. Uh, Penny Stewart. Uh, I am a metaphysical minister. I have a bachelor's in metaphysics. Uh, you can follow our Facebook page, uh, Chemistry. Uh, if you're interested in any metaphysical supplies, you can also uh, go to our website at www.chemistry.com and look around at our metaphysical products. But uh, I hope this um, I hope this video helped you. I hope you inspired you. If you're interested in this book, I think I got this book from Amazon. And I don't think it was very much. I think it was maybe about not, probably not even 10 bucks. But uh, this is a really good book and I really enjoyed this book. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.